In this video, I want to talk about recognizing and attuning yourself to what it is that you're feeling, the design that God has given you. Recognizing and attuning to, am I feeling peace, the peace of God, the pe the spirit of peace that restores me, or am I feeling fear and compulsion, the spirit of the enemy? He compels you by fear and anxiety. You have a feeling of fear, but when you succumb to the work of your own hands or you submit yourself to idols, even self-idolatry, you get handed over to that spirit of fear. This is the way that you're going to understand by attuning yourself to what you're feeling. And in every single moment, this is the way that you're going to attune yourself and remain in God's presence. Otherwise, you're going to be pulled away by activations in your flesh, compulsions in your heart, and that's the spirit that's going to be moving you. You are a vessel. You are designed to be occupied by the spirit of God. If you're not occupied by him, you'll be occupied by something else. And that spirit will terrorize and compel you in fear. That's the reason I talk about those chinks in the armor. Because those chinks in the armor allow that spirit to occupy you and gives it a license to do business through you. What are the chinks in the armor? Unoccupied, unresolved, and lukewarm. Lukewarm means you're not living single-mindedly. You're double-minded. You're neither hot nor cold. And Jesus says he will spit you out of his mouth. If you can't serve him single-mindedly, wholeheartedly, and you keep playing with the enemy, you keep committing adultery and fornicating with the enemy of God, you'll be spit out of his mouth. That means you want to dabble here and there in entertaining YouTube, false teachings, false ministries. I mean, it's your choice, but you'll be spit out of his mouth. You can't be ingesting defiled food. You can't be speaking defiled food. And I hear some of you guys doing that. I did a video earlier on AI because I'm tired of people telling me that artificial intelligence is somehow going to be the mark of the beast or that, you know, something's going to happen with artificial intelligence when the word has not told us that. Where did you receive that? You're eating defiled food. And now you're spreading it like a disease in the church. And we will not have that here. You need to be accountable for your heart because what's coming from your heart is going to come out in your deeds and your mouth and you will be held accountable for that. The odd thing is, is that people present themselves as being some, somehow a watchman for others, warning them of things that God has not said. What is going on there? That is a heart issue. If you want to be used by God, you're going to have to stay in step with him. You're going to have to follow him. He doesn't follow you. He's not your dog. You need to learn what he wants from you, what he requires of you. You're, we're too used to going our own way and calling it God, making up businesses and YouTube channels that we call ministries and, and then calling it God or going to pagans and then they do something, give us pills tear open our bodies and we what go and say praise god he healed me no he didn't he's handed you over to delusion because you don't love truth believe me the lesson will come back you will be dealt with even more harshly because you rejected what he established we're used to convincing ourselves that we're doing his work when he hasn't told us to say or do any of those things and so we're at a season of learning right now in which we need to remain with his spirit and you need a way of understanding how to remain with his spirit. There are some of you who've been with me for a while. You've been doing this work for a while. You've been listening to me for the last year and you're being tested right now. I can see you being tested right now. He's brought you to a certain point. He's putting it on your heart that you need to get out there and you need to start doing what he set you apart to do. But somehow you're not understanding that the work that you've been doing for the last year has been intended to bring you into position to actually walk with him and receive from him and be able to recognize when you're in compulsion and when you're being led by his spirit. Why are you not understanding that? You're being tested right now. Are you going to go off and do your own thing or are you actually going to be used by him? Because you don't have the ability to do this of yourself. You need to get very clear on what spirit is moving you at a given time. You need to use prudence. 
You need to exercise self-control by God's spirit and step back when you're wanting to open your mouth, when you feel that urgency to talk and talk and talk and talk and contact that person and text that person and tell them how to live their life. Control this family member and control that family member. Stop it already. God has not called you to do that. He has called you to receive from him on a daily basis how he wants to use you and to first receive your daily bread so that you're broken down into position to be used by him. That's the purpose of doing this work. Or are you deluded into thinking that you have some wisdom of yourself, that you have some power of yourself? How many times have you heard me read Zechariah 4? Not by your power, not by your might, not by my power or my might, but by God's spirit. That's how he's going to build this temple. Plank spec, plank spec. Every single day, you've got to take that plank out. You have to sit and receive from him what he's building in you. What is he contending with you on? Where is he calling you to grow? And when you do that, you'll be in the right position to actually be used by him because you won't just be getting up and going, okay, let's go tackle this as though you have power or might, as though you have wisdom to understand. First, take this plank out of your own eye then you will be able to help your brother. Why? Because then you'll have a testimony. Then you'll have understanding. There are people going around reproving and warning and activating themselves in some self-contrived ministry, and they're not even speaking correctly. What spirit is doing that? What spirit is moving them to do that, guys? And if you're finding that that's something you're doing, you need to scale it back and you need to understand your own motives. Because if the Spirit of God has not told you to do that, then what's going on? The only way that the devil has a license to do business through you is through a chink in your armor. Where is he slithering in? You have to examine that. And the other thing that needs to happen is that you need a way of being able to attune to what you're feeling in a given moment. And it needs to be something that you're regularly doing because God gave you that design to communicate with you on a regular basis. That's what Heart Known Series is designed to do, to help you to actually engage in personal accountability so that you can discipline your physical flesh, circumcise from the sinful desires that you have, and live in the heart and spirit so that you can be moved and led by God, so that you can be built by him on a daily basis And in that process, you're supposed to be recognizing the difference between feeling uh, restored by peace, knowing what it feels like when you're occupied by God and you're in step with him and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and living where you're supposed to be living and rent your and your heart is rent in the way it's supposed to be rent. You're in the correct posture versus when you start to step away and you start to feel that feeling of fear and God is moving you back into his presence and his favor. If you've been doing this work with me for a while, that's what you should be experiencing. That's where you should be headed. That's the purpose of doing the work. The purpose of doing the work is not to come to workshop every week and say, this happened to me in my childhood and this is why I am the way that I am. That's between you and God. And it's between you and God and he doesn't expect you to continue to live there and keep relenting that to him either. He expects you to be moved by him so that you're being used by him. And the fruit of that is that you're speaking correctly with clarity, with discernment, with organization, and based on his word and based on the testimony that he's building in you, which which should also stand on his word. Please discern this with God. Lay your heart bare. Discern it with him. Ask him to convict you of any areas that need that rounding out. Because I can tell you what it feels like. I can tell you these certain things, but I can't live your covenant for you. And I'm finding that there's a lot of reproval that seems to be needed. And I know that that's coming from a heart issue. So please examine your heart, bring your heart to him and let him convict you of what needs changing.